Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? Welcome to another video. Just a super duper quick one today. There's going to be minimal editing, minimal messing around. It's just a super quick video on something that I went through and I think a lot of people who are also dentists can relate to. It's, it's some of the reasons why dentistry can be so mentally tough. For those of you who don't know, I'm a dentist, a qualified Leeds University 2016. So why do I say it's mentally tough? Well, there's a little bit of a cliche out there, is there, isn't there that lots of dentists struggle with their mental health? I can definitely understand why that could be the case. I've been the dentist on both sides. I've been the dentist who's absolutely emphatic about his job, really, really happy, thrilled, gets a, a bit of a buzz off doing such a good job. And then I've been the dentist on the other side who's been uh, completely dismayed, downtrodden, um, upset with his work, struggling to cope. Uh, you know, mentally because of something that's happened in surgery. I've been both dentists, so I like to think I've got a little bit of insight on both sides. Today, I'm just going to focus on the latter. So I definitely think one of the hardest things about being a dentist is keeping all of the patients happy. Different patients have different expectations, and you can't just apply one set formula to doing to keep it to, to doing so to keeping them all happy. As well as that, you see so many patients throughout the day, it's a real struggle to manage things such as time, when they're booked in, coordinate everything, choreograph things successfully. And this is something that's expected almost, and it's not really something that it can, it can be something that goes wanting in terms of appreciation from lots of people. And it's a very, very difficult thing to do. And should that be, should there be any errors there, or mistakes or anything like that, it can be one of the first things that people will come down on you harshly for. Another thing which I struggle with as well, some patients, understandably so, they have a massive anxiety about coming to the dentist and I just find that sometimes they're already expecting to dislike you as soon as you walk through the door before they've even met you, even on occasion sometimes. And you do find that you have to, ha you have, to have a, an uphill struggle against that because of their perceptions of what the dentist might be, even though you may not personally know them and that can be difficult sometimes. I think as well as that, managing what the patient wants what the patient expects sometimes can be incredibly difficult sometimes i've been there before i put my hand on my heart and i said you know what that is really the best i could have done with what i had there the job went the the, the procedure went absolutely perfectly in my eyes but however you've got a patient ultimately who still uh doesn't like something wants it changing isn't quite happy with the final result and that can be really difficult so managing expectations is definitely a challenge and part of the job which can be uh, disheartening sometimes if it doesn't go well. I think as well as that for me, particularly at the very start when I was a novice dentist and I maybe necessarily didn't, wasn't uh, as, 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 you know, to the, quite to perform quite to the same level as someone who'd been doing it for a while, you do feel like a little bit of an imposter, so your imposter syndrome, you think to yourself, you find yourself thinking thoughts along the lines of, you know, I've only done 10 fillings, I shouldn't really be sat in this chair, who am I trying to fool, things of that nature. The good thing about that one aspect of the job, while it is mentally daunting at the time, as time goes on and you keep doing it and doing it and doing it, you get better and better and it just becomes part of who you are. And ultimately you have to start somewhere as you do with anything in life. Anyway, just to wrap up, there was just one more thing I wanted to say. If you do find that you are struggling, just please look out there. There's support, there's other dentists who are likely to be going through the same thing as you. There's a great Facebook called, group called Mental Dental. If you want to check that out, there are other dentists who are there because they believe in mental health is important and they want to help others who feel like they are struggling. Aside from that, it's worthwhile speaking to a friend, a colleague, things like that if you do think things are getting too bad. So that's all I wanted to say today. Thanks for listening. Over and out.